Hello everyone. Welcome to Lighthouse Stamping with Lorraine. I hope your day is going well. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Vancouver, Washington. Before we get started, the housekeeping notes. All the product I use will be listed below. There will be all the dimensions and a link to my online store. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'd love to be yours. There's a link to my uh, Facebook group. We'd love to have you join that. There is also my email address. If you have any questions or want to see something made on this channel, you can send me an email. And finally, remember to like, share, and subscribe this to this YouTube channel and help me grow in YouTube world. So we are going to be playing with the Zoo Crew Suite, which is found on page 46 and 47 of the book. And I'm going to show you the uh, items we're using. We're going to actually be using everything out of the set. We're using paper, the ribbon, dies and the stamps so we'll go briefly over this this is the stamp set there's dies to cut at each of the creatures i'm calling them creatures they're animals whatever you want to call them <laughs> and then there's some really great verses in here too something great to celebrate you happy birthday to you you are too wonderful there's a little confetti and little musical notes so there's lots of fun things in there the dies there's the dies to cut out, but there's some standalone dies. There's, we're gonna, I'll show you some of them in a few minutes because we're gonna be using them. But there's balloons, um, trees, some flowers, a little stool. I believe these are little like, flowers. I'm not sure what that is. I think it might be her knitting that she's holding. This llama is knitting here. And I think it may make the little pieces in here. I'm not positive yet. I haven't played with that part. And so a lot of experimenting to do with this set yet. So we're using that, and I'm going to show you the paper real fast. There is one animal that cuts out from each sheet of paper. This one happens to be, these are all animals that are on wheels, and the alligator cuts out. And the back side is all black and white patterned papers. This one, the llama cuts out. Everybody's doing something, cooking, reading. She's knitting and it's back is more black and white, which I love having a black and white. This one looks like the party page, and the one that cuts out is the um, raccoon. Another black and white. These guys are all playing instruments and singing. And the one that cuts out of this is the lovely little turtle. And the black and white dots does have a pattern to it. I, I don't stare at that one too long because it sort of makes your eyes go a little wiggly. Um, then this one, they're out camping or in nature and the skunk it cuts out. And we have ballerinas, a little hippo and a tutu. Who doesn't love a hippo and a tutu? Unfortunately, the hippo is not the one that cuts out with a die. It's this little cat here, which I'm calling a leopard. I'm not sure what he is, but it's a cat. And then it has like a leopard or little animal print on the back. So it's very fun. The colors in this paper are black, crumb cake, lemon lime twist, lemon lolly, petal pink, pool party, and pumpkin pie. So let me show you what we are making. Get this over here. There's the envelope of our thing. We're going to use some of the new colors and returning colors. And this is our card, and it's a little stage, and I've built a little band here. I think I'm gonna call it the double double column band card because it is a double column card that stands up like this. This is on the back. And yes, this is overhanging, but the card folds up and fits flat into your envelope like this. I think it's rather cute. And I'm gonna teach you, show you how I made these, and we're gonna make this together and the floor of the bandstand. So like I said, it's rather cute, I think. So let me set him over here out of my way. So you either need a scoreboard or a trimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and use the trimmer. And you need a piece of cardstock that is 10 and three quarters by four and a quarter. Now I have already scored this one. I, I was playing around and I realized I'd scored two of them. So I'm not gonna score another one. I'm just gonna go over the measurements here. So you're gonna first score at three and a quarter, one and a half, two and a quarter, 
and three. Open your arm up. You're going to score at seven and three quarters. Oop, right there. Eight and a half. Nine and a quarter. And ten. Like I said, don't try to write all those down. They will be listed below. <laughs> we're going to set that aside. And we'll grab our bone folder and we're going to start burnishing this. Take all these to the inside. And this one here. So we can build our stage. Okay, so it looks like this. All these are folded, and these will all fold in like this. Now, just to keep the dimensions easy, I left it this way. But you do need to do a little trimming. Off each end, you need to take, and I mean just a smidge. Just like that, off each end. It is going to make this fold flatter when you put it in the envelope and it will go together much easier. So I'm going to grab some glue and we're going to do both sides exactly the same way. You're going to fold the two panels in like this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and use tear and tape today on this one instead of glue. Helps. So we're going to put tear and tape on the panel. We just cut some off. You can use glue, like, oop, I tore that a little bit, but it's going to be okay because that's not going to be seen. And we're going to put some tear and tape on this one. So on the out, two outside pieces, like that. So we're going to take the first one off. I wouldn't do two at, you know, don't put them both at the same time. Hold this down, so you got two on the bottom, two on top, and close it. Give it a little rub, pull it back so it lies flat again, and give it another rub this way. This is why we took that little piece out of in here. So if you didn't take that piece out, it would try to buckle in here. And close that, and close this side up just like that. So that is the first part of how to start the card. Let me get these out of my way because we do need to do some die cutting now. And so we might as well get everything we need to die cut at one time. And to help speed things up on our video, I went in and fussy cut all of the pieces we needed for our band. These are one of each of them, except this little guy was right at the bottom of the page. So you can see him playing his little flute, but the bottom was cut off. So we're gonna use that one on the back. We'll set him over here and the rest of these. I did leave the turtle for us to cut together because there's a die for that. And now, getting a few more pieces here. We need to die cut. This piece is four and three quarters by seven and eighth. This is what we're going to be making the top of our stage from. Now, you also need to die cut You're going to need four pieces that are three and a quarter by one and a quarter. This is an extra one I cut. And I'm not going to show you. These are the curtains that we put on the side. Now I wanted double curtains on mine to make it fuller. You could just use one, you know, one on each side and just flip them around like that. But I wanted double. So, and I'll show you how I attach those. You do have to put the top piece on first. So I've already die cut that. And then this is for the back of our card, which is four and a half by four, which we need to stamp. This, this is the little banner that comes in this kit. 
and it is, I cut a piece that was two inches by one and three quarters to make that. It's an extra in case I mess up. And this is the bottom of our stage, which is four and three quarters by th three quarters of an inch. So we don't need to do anything with that. So basically we need to stamp the back, stamp this, yet, and do the die cutting. So we'll come back to the stamping in a few minutes and we'll get the die cutting done. So I've left two pieces to die cut. So, oh, let me grab my tray, I didn't move it over. I figured you all knew how to die cut a plain piece of paper. I am rotating all of my plates again today. You need to rotate your plates. So this is the die that cuts out the drapery. This is the die that cut out the banner. And this is the die that cuts out the squirrel, or the squirrel, the turtle. And I'm gonna line him up here. And I'm just gonna grab a poster. I got some laying around here, we'll just use these. So we're gonna cut him out first. There is a certain, you need to put elements onto this card in a certain order to make them work because I didn't the first time and he's all cut out. And it, uh, I had to take it apart. <laughs> okay, so this is the piece that's four and three quarters by seven eighths. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it up in here and build it right on here on the plate. So I wanna leave as much of the height as I can. So we're only putting it right towards the edge so, so we get a nice border across there. And as straight as possible. Okay, now you can see it's still hooked. And we'll take that apart in just a minute. Let me get a little cranky out of the way here. So we need a pair of snips or scissors. And we're just gonna go in here very gently, just an angle, snip that so it blends right in. I'm going from the outside in, so I'm following looks like that. Like I said, you're going as close to the bottom of that as you can. All right, so let's start putting this together. First is the piece of black we had, and we're gonna push this down. Everything needs to go this direction when you're making this, and you're going to put the black piece in first. A little bit of glue on each side. Hold it down and go right to the fold and to the bottom. And to the fold and the bottom here. Now it looks like my paper may have been a little too long, but that's easy to fix. Start on the inside here and go to the outside on this side. I am a little long and it sometimes happens you, when you're cutting, you just don't get it quite right. Let me just snip that off. So I started here, so I knew that side would be perfect. And then push it back this way and fold it this way again. So there's our tower. Okay, now we need our curtains. I wanna put the first, and I'm lining them right up at the bottom of where that piece is and right to the edge. So I'm just putting a little glue right there and a little at the top. Not a lot. We're lining it right up to there and right to the edge. And I'll push it down. 
Okay, then I'm gonna take one more. Like I said, you could leave it just like that, but I wanted a little more, you know, they always sometimes look like they're draped in there. I wanted a little more drapery. Same thing a little bit at the bottom here. I'm not going too far out to the sides now because we may hang over. We will hang over a little bit. Oop. I'm going right to where that little notch is right there. Oop. And trying to put it in here straight. Like that. Now we'll bend it this way. And do the same thing. Right to the fold mark. It wants to pop back up. That's the nature of a this type of card, but This one, so we're going, so we're just covering up where that is. Like I said, you don't, you can put just one curtain if you want. Okay, so there is that part of it. The next part is we put on is this, and we're going to do it the same way as we did the first one, but we're going to overlap those just like that. And I'm going to flip it around so I can make sure we're right at the top. So I'm going to put my glue right here because I know it needs to go here and here. I'm going to line this up with the curtains so it's nice and straight and straight at the top and not exceeding that fold line. And then this one we're going to scoot over and hook it down. So the curtain comes over the top of the draperies. Or I should say the balance comes over the top of the draperies. Get it right. <laughs> and it will take a minute for it to all set up and dry. So there's the stage. So before we decorate the stage, we need to do some stamping. So we're gonna set that aside and let it dry. And we also need on the back of our, get our little frog out again. So we're going to stamp on the back something great to celebrate you. And I'm going to use black. And then... I'm going to grab, we're going to do a lot of double stamping because some of the same stuff goes on all of that. We're going to stamp several things at the same time. Now, I'm saying, I'm saying something great to celebrate you on here. And this also says happy birthday to you. I didn't want to have, it was just a little much too you, too many for me. So we are only going to ink up happy birthday. And I'm going to just take a piece of post-it like that, and I've got my piece sitting here ready to go. And I'm gonna take my ink, get nice covered in black, pull this off, scoot this down so I can see it. Ooh, that's not very good. We'll use the back side. I made two sides. Let me clean this stamp up. I got a little too much ink on one side and I'm not happy with it. And if you're not happy, turn it over and try again. Use the same paper. No, we're not. I've got too much ink on there and I'm going to get my fingers too nasty. So let's go through this again and go a little more gentle with my ink. I did, did re-ink the memento the other day. There, I think that's better. That's much better. <laughs> Got a little too much ink on there. 
So before we continue with our stamping, I want to put a little guy down here in the bottom because we're going to put some musical notes on it. So he is just a little bit of glue. I'm putting him down right on the edge of the paper. Because we're going to start doing some musical notes now. And there's a little stamp that has the musical notes. Let me get these turned around a little bit. And we are going to use Lemon Lime Twist as your afternoon and Berry Burst. And we are actually going to, I'm actually stamping these in a certain order. I don't want the Lemon Lime Twist right by the frog. So we're going to stamp some blue notes and put a few blue notes on here and on our envelope. And then we will clean. Excuse me one second. Hang on. I didn't get it clean the first time. There we go. Now we're going to do lemon lime twist. And a few lemon lime twist. And I don't care if I go into the ink or into the black ink there. It's fine. Lemon lime twist and clean again. And some berry burst will come up here. And I'll put a few berry bursts. Oh, let's put them right about here in the middle of those. And a couple there. And that is the end of the stamping. Like I said, it was pretty easy stamping. Now, if you wanted to die cut, you know, all these animals out, um, you know, make them yourself, you could do that as well. But I wanted the band, and the only way to get the band was to cut a fussy cut them. And I'm letting the paper do the work on that part today. So we'll get that out of the way. So let's start on by putting this on the back. Didn't I just use this glue bottle about five seconds ago? There we go. Little glue, push it down. Center it up as best we can. It is better to put this back on before you start putting all your little guys on the front. It's just easier. Okay. So now we have this, and we want to take, and I want to put some ribbon behind it. And we are going to use, don't mind the blue. I was trying to write on these, and my pen would not dry. <laughs> There's a wax film on these cases. And I wanted to put, the, because there was no color on it, I wanted to put the color on, but it didn't work very well. So, wouldn't advise that one. So, what I did, I basically just went back and forth. I'm just measuring for right now how much ribbon I need. Not like that. Cutting that off. And then I grab a little seal. No one will know that had a happy birthday on the back. And I'm just going to start this. Now, like where I had it before, and just curl it up. I just want a little ribbon behind the banner, make it stand out a little bit. Not like that. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on this. If I find my dimensionals. There they are. And we'll put just a couple on here that will also help hold that ribbon in place. Now you could put more dimensionals or less dimensionals. 
I decided to pop these up on the inside because I wanted that I did not want them right on the black. Now, the other one that's going on the back wall, we're working from in here first, is our little pole bar playing an accordion. So we'll put a couple on him. Now the polar bear is gonna go in here, and it's hard to see, put both fingers in here. You're gonna go in, and you're gonna, oh, don't go down yet. I wanna make sure you can just see his feet from here, where you're looking flat at it, and his arm is almost at the wall. And then this is going up here, like this, inside here. But make sure you are where you can still read it through, this opening on the stage. Keep in mind there's gonna be, oh, that's pretty good. Put that like that. Now we have our band to put together. So get all my little guys out here. And first we're going to put the <clears throat> warthog I had to think about that for a few minutes, figure out what that was. And I was looking at it and going, what is that? It's not a donkey because he has horns. And then my sister came to and goes, it's a warthog. It's hard. Sometimes you're thinking and looking at something and go, what in the world is that? So I'm going to push this down. And I'm actually going to put him on with glue. And he's going to overhang just a little bit off this side because when you close it, it'll go this way. And so you can extend over this side. You cannot extend on this side, but you can on this side. So if you wanted to put something up here, you could as well. Put a little glue on that side. Push him down. And then over on this side, I'm putting this guy here, making sure not to extend over. Ooh, I got a little too, no, I think I'm high enough. Make sure that you've got gone too high, that you put glue inside there, which I haven't, thank God. Make sure you don't exceed off the side there. And then we have our, now this one, This guy is facing this way, but this one is facing this way, which is fine. It's just they do face different directions. So I can only put glue on his legs and just the back side here of him because he's going to hook to the draperies. You just have to watch where you're putting the pieces on. Now, I didn't want to pop these up because, you know, they're already sticking out. like that and then we have the star of the show and he's only going to get glue about halfway up his body his feet and down here and I'm not making sure they're even or anything because they're all over the stage they're a band bands go everywhere so that is our little stage. It's a double column card, folds down flat to go into our nice envelope, just like that. I thought it was rather cute. So thank you for joining me today. Oh, I'll put one up so you can see how they stand. Well, this is the first one, and then this is the when we just finished. So thank you for joining me today. Give this card a try, have some fun with it. Join my Facebook group. Um, you can share pictures and projects that you have made over and share with other people. And we'd love to see what you've created. So with all that being said, remember to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and help me grow. And you all have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Goodbye.